Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with the second game of our Minnesota North Stars playoffs against uh, the St. Louis Blues. This is the second game of the second round. We beat uh, the Blackhawks in the first round, uh, four games to one. And now we're down one game to nothing coming into this game to St. Louis. So we will get this party started. Uh, yeah, there we go. Move myself and then we'll make it so we can see the entire ice, which would be beneficial. And we're gonna take the opening face off and here we go. Hoping we can tie the series with St. Louis. Um, They've got, actually, they have Vincent Riendau in the net. I don't know why, but that's not for me to, uh, to speculate on. Um, they did have Cujo, Curtis Joseph, did play game one. So, um, and, he, and he was great against us. But I have no idea how good Rian Dow was. So Tenorti has the puck. He's got possession right now for us. And there's a penalty, and that is going to be on Garth Butcher. The Butcher is going to the box. Aptly named Garth Butcher. So we have a power play for the next two minutes. With 19 minutes left in the first period. Yeah, we lost that last game, and it was uh, not a bad game. It was three to one. We lost three to one. We just could not get anything past uh, Cujo, and we'll see if that's different here with uh, Vincent Rendau. Rendau. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Definitely French Canadian, but um, anyway. So Ryan Souter has it for St. Louis currently. He successfully skates with it. And we'll try to skate with it again, and he does, successfully. And uh, so now, what are we, what's he going to do? He, I think he lost it to us. And no, he didn't. So now, well, he might have, but now Jeff Brown has the puck. And he successfully skates with it. So they're killing the penalty very well here so far. And they have killed it. And now it's even. We're back to even on the ice. Jeff Brown with the puck. No, we've got it. We took it away, I think. And now Brian Glynn has an outside shot. I'm just going to shoot. That's a 12 and it's a lose to the left wing. So their left, St. Louis's left wing will have possession. Cavalieri. Cavallini, and uh, I guess they they uh, threaded a, a great pass. No, well, yeah, they did. And Giles doesn't. Oh no, Giles did. He knocked him off, and there's no penalty. So Giles should probably have the puck right now, and he does. So, yeah, a nice crushing hit by Giles. And Cavallini took it away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman for us comes away with the puck. And uh, uh, takes the puck away, has an outside shot, Cavallini. And he's threaded a pass, and now there's going to be an inside shot for Ron Wilson, former head coach of the Washington Capitals. But that's a save and a rebound. And the offensive right wing gets a follow-up, and that's Ryan Suter. So he'll get a rebound shot on Casey. And that's going to be another save by Casey, and the defensive center comes away with it. So our center will have the puck. And that right now is Perry Berezin.
And that's going to be Meager. Meager takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And he gets a goal. Unreal. We're losing one nothing all of a sudden. Ryan Meager with an outside shot on Casey. I thought Casey was better than that. I expected more, frankly. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Remember, they have Rian and they don't have Cujo. So maybe we, you know, of course, really, we've gotten no shots, though. So you're not going to score on Rian if you don't get any shots. So McLean has the puck for St. Louis. And McCray took it away. Basil McCray took it away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save. And the left wing comes up with the puck. And again, I want to mention, I will edit the video if needed to cut down the um, run time of the video. If it is deemed that there was a lot that you didn't need to see that you wouldn't want to watch or whatever. And there's a penalty and it looks like it might be on us. Coincidental double minors for Dahlquist and Adam Oates. So Gagne has the puck for us, but anyway, yes. I, if there's a, if it's either a blowout one way or the other, or um, there's a lot, you don't need to see um, whatever. I will cut the video down in editing to as much as it needs to be. And I will also um, at times skip ahead, possibly. I don't know. I may not do that in this um, uh, in this particular game. Um, the last time the video was cut a little short because of, uh, I guess, the RAM. My computer RAM space had run down to the point where I couldn't do it. Garth Butcher with another penalty, so we have a power play for two minutes. But that won't happen this game because I have, I think I have enough. Last time I only had like 8.4 gigabytes, and uh, it ran out just before the end of the game. But um, right now I've got like 14 point something, so it shouldn't run out unless it goes into extra periods. Uh, Brian Prop has a chance for a, uh, a shot. I'm going to pass. Inside shot for right wing. Prop uh, threads the needle to Dolan. And Dolan is going to have a uh, save, and St. Louis's left wing comes up with the puck. And that's Bob Basson. There he is again, Bob Basson. Successful skate for Basson, and uh, they'll no doubt try it again. And uh, that's a failed skate, so we're going to get the puck back. And uh, let's see, player for the shot, I'm going to go with Bobby Smith. And maybe you can hear my cat in the background. She's down here in the basement. Um, so successful pass. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Probably not a great idea. Maybe it wasn't. And it isn't. The defense took over. He couldn't get inside. Probably should have passed with him, if anything, or just taken the outside shot. But anyway, Jeff Brown now has the puck for the Blues. And Tenorti with an outside shot. That's going to be a rebound. Hopefully we can get the re... Oh, yeah, we're going to try to deflect it. Let's see who gets it. Dolan, Dolan with a deflection shot. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it. I should have probably just let it be a rebound and see if we got it. But they get another successful skate, and there's only 32 seconds. Now there's one second left in the penalty. And they have another successful skate. So that's going to probably kill off the penalty successfully. And they have killed off another penalty. And now we'll be back at full strength, it looks like. No, no, they're not.
Now let's see what happens here. He looks to pass. Dolan has an outside shot option. He is going to, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did penetrate. He got inside. So let's see if Dolan can get in there and, and get a goal. Tie it up. Nope. Save and left wing gets it. So I, I'm starting to wonder if Rando is better than uh, Cujo, which would be a shocker. But Bob Basson now has it for St. Louis. And we take the puck away, I think, and have an outside shot only with Doug Schmale. So Doug Schmale with an outside shot, and it is a save, and their center will come up with it. Because now we're back at even strength, so Ron Wilson comes up with the puck. But I think we took the puck away. Did we? Yep. And we have an outside shot again with Schmale. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it. So now we're out shooting St. Louis with 731 left here in the first period. We're out shooting them 6-4, to four, but they do have a goal. And are winning 1-9. So uh, let's see. We're going to try to intimidate at 85% for sure. And we do get it back, so uh, Wilkinson has it right now. And Barrison has an outside shot option. We're going to just take the shot because he's not really that good. And he gets a save defensive left defenseman. So Rian Du coming up big again for him, and now Featherston has the puck for St. Louis. And we took the puck away and have an outside shot with Dahlquist. And Dahlquist has an outside shot option. We're just going to take it because he's not good at either one of, like, getting inside or passing. And that's going to be a lose to the left wing. So... Their goaltending and defense, well, I don't want to say their defense has played well because we got seven shots to their four. So, really, our defense has played better. It's just uh, looks like offsetting penalties. Off, well, offsetting, but both going to the box. So, it's going to be a four on four for two minutes with 524 left in the first period. And uh, Jim Johnson coming up with the puck. Outside shot only. So Stevens is going to have an outside shot, and uh, that's going to be a rebound. They're looking for the tip from Cavallini, and he gets a goal rating and a goal. He tips it in past uh, Casey. So now we're losing 2 nothing. So not good, and that uh, and that four on four is still in effect. So, so we didn't even get our guy to come back out on the ice after being scored on. But so Tenori with the puck, we're down by two now with four sixteen left in the first period. And they tried to get inside and failed to, so we should end up with the puck. And Tenorti has the puck trying to pass, looks like. Loses the puck, and there's an outside shot for the left wing. And he penetrated. So Basson cuts through and has an inside shot on Casey. And that's a rebound, and... Defensive center if a three. And it doesn't look no, it um doesn't look like it. But they but they have the puck now. They have possession of it, but they didn't get a rebound shot. So Duchesne Duchesne with an outside shot, and it's gonna be a save in the left wing. 
So we've got uh, we got an uphill battle to fight, even if it is against their second string goaltender. And that brings up Tomlinson. And uh, that's going to be in. Uh, they, yeah, we tried to intimidate, but Meager got inside and he has a lose to the right wing. So our right wing comes in. That's Mike Craig. Mike Craig picking it up. And we lose the puck and there's an inside shot with intimidation for the right wing. We are going to try to intimidate, but... McCray can't knock McLean off the puck, and so he's inside for a shot, which is a goalie rating four, and that's going to be a face-off to Casey's right. So Casey is really not having one of his better games this game. I mean, they only have seven shots, and two of them have gone in, and that one could easily have gone in. So it looks like St. Louis will get control off of the... Uh, off the faceoff, and they also get inside with Lowry. Dave Lowry with an inside shot on Casey. And that uh, is going to be lose to the right defenseman. So, Kurt Giles now has the puck for us, for the good guys, the guys in the green and gold. But there's a minute 14 left in the first period as that's winding down. And Glenn has an inside shot, it looks like, and it's a goalie rating eight, and it's a save, either defense. Ah, man. I tell you, Rian Du, they really should be playing this guy. Outside shot for center. I guess Brown lost the puck. Inside shot for center. Oh, no, it's inside shot for them. Dave Lowry inside, and he, there's a save, and our right wing comes away with it. Time winding down here in the first. Madonna now with the puck with seven seconds left in the first period. And the period is over. Seems to avoid a check. Outside shot only for the center. Maybe that's Barazan, though. Yes, it is. Barazan took the puck away and has an outside shot. And he gets a rebound. Let's see if we can get the rebound shot. Offensive left wing of a three. And we couldn't because we didn't have an offensive left wing of offense three. So Brett Hull now has possession of the puck for St. Louis. 5.55 left in the second period. I am going to try to intimidate at 25%. Doesn't work, and now Oates is inside and has a dice roll four, goalie rating five, save either defenseman. We'll give it to Wilkinson. That's what the computer recommended, so I'll go with it. So we got 518 left in the second period. Dahlquist is hammered into the board, so it looks like Featherston might come up with the puck. And he does. So, yeah, Glenn Featherston now has the puck, and we're trying to intimidate at 40%. No penalty, so it looks like maybe we're going to get possession of the puck back. And we are. Dahlquist has it. Dave Gagne picks it up and has a breakaway. Nice. And that's a goalie rating and a five, which is a rebound. And offensive left defenseman. And that's Wilkinson, which is not a good thing. But uh, he loses it to the right wing. So... The wrong guy uh, came up with it shot. So, Rich Suter for St. Louis now has the puck with them up 3 nothing and tied in shots at 17. 
Um, Gatan Duchesne has an outside shot. I'm just going to take the shot because he's not good at anything else. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes up with it. And that's Scott Stevens. So Scott Stevens has possession of the puck. And player failed to penetrate, so we knocked him off the puck. I'm thinking we're going to get the puck back, and we do. Basil McRae with it. So not one of Casey's better games. And Stevens has an outside shot. That's a save. Left defenseman comes away. But really, our offense is also not having one of its better games, so to be honest. So Tenorti now has possession of the puck for us. And uh, now they have it. So Jeff Brown for St. Louis has the puck with a minute 22 left in the second time, ticking away in the second period. And they failed to penetrate. They had a good pass, but they couldn't get inside with Oates. And so now Brian Glenn has the puck for us. And Brown off to the races with an inside shot. Nine saves the defensive center. So our center will come away with the puck. That's going to be Gagne in this particular case with five seconds left in the second. And that's it. Period over. And we go into the third down by three. So not a good thing. Not one of the better uh, things you would want to see happen. And looks like Garth Butcher is going to come away with it for St. Louis. Third period just started, but we're losing by three, so we need three goals in one period, and Brett Hall has an outside shot for St. Louis. That's going to be a save any. I will give it to Dolan because he's across from an A penalty guy, and we could really use them to be in the box a little bit more, like all period, if we could get that. But they take the puck away, and so now it looks like Lowry will have it, and I have a chance to intimidate Lowry at 25%, which I will take, but it doesn't work, and so Lowry's inside. And he loses the puck to the right defenseman, our right defenseman, and that would be Jim Johns. So 1829 left in the game. And um, if it gets, like, you know, down to a half a period or something. Scott Stevens is in the box. Nice. If it gets down to about, you know, the half period point, I might, I may just quick play it, like fast forward it to uh, like two minutes left on the game if we're still down 3 nothing with a half a period left because the chances that we're going to score three goals in a half a period, I think, are slim to none. I'm going to give it to Gagne. And we're going to outside shot only for right wing. So Gagne looks like hits Madonna with a pass, and he's going to be have an outside shot. And it has to be an outside shot, and it's saved, and their defensive center comes away with the puck. And Brian Bellows has an outside shot option. He's going to pass it, see if we can get somebody closer inside shot for any player. And I'm going to make that be Madano. Gagne would have been a decent choice, but I'm going to go with Madano with Madano and possible breakaway from Madano for same defensive center. I don't even know where this guy's goals are. I mean, I have no idea because, you know, it's hard to, hard to gauge with him playing so well. Ron Wilson now has the puck for St. Louis. 
and he successfully skates with it, which he would probably try to do again. And this time he failed skate, so we took the puck. And Brian Bellows will have the puck. Yeah, we lose this game, we're down two games to nothing, and we're in bad shape because we really did not play well against St. Louis during the year. Bellows, I'm going to try to penetrate with Bellows, and he does not get inside. He just misses getting inside. So we would be in real trouble, down two nothing, and two games to nothing, I mean. And uh, it looks like that's exactly where we're headed. Bellows has an inside shot, though. And that's going to be a save defensive center. And uh, Rich Suter has the puck for them. He has a successful skate. May try that again. And he does. And he does have a successful skate again. So they've been killing the penalties off very effectively, and now we're back to even strength with 16.07 left in the period and the game, very likely. Gatan Duchesne with it. Inside shot for any player. Um, we're going to try to intimidate, and Glenn did rock him, and there's no penalty. So it looks like Glenn will come away with the puck. And he does. So he has the puck. We're out shooting him 21-20. But we're on the losing end of the scoreboard, 3-0. And Brown has an outside shot, which is going to be a good save. And our center will pick it up. And that's Broughton. So Neil Broughton has the puck. 14-30 left. And Lowry took the puck away as an outside shot, and that's a goalie rating and a six, which is a goal, and we're down four nothing. So I am going to fast forward this game to uh, two minutes left in the game, because, I mean, well, first of all, we're not doing anything with me in charge. So let's see what the computer can do for the next... Uh, two minutes and 30 seconds or so. Um, game, quick play. Two minutes left in the third period. Yes, and it is five to one. So we're down by the same number of goals, but we're still not in a position where we have a chance of winning the game at all. And we will try to intimidate so it's nice to see that we were able to score somehow, some way on Reindu. But 44 seconds now, we're fast forwarding to, well, we're, we're down to 44 seconds left in the game. Duchesne has an outside shot option. He's just going to shoot it. And that's going to be a save left defenseman. And uh, Cavallini has it. And it looks like the game is about ready to wind down to nothing. With us losing 5-1. Hull has an outside shot. Little parting thing, and it's going to be a save, and our left wing comes away with it. But that's the end of the game. And we lost by the score of 5-1. Our goal was scored by Perry Bearson from Neil Broughton and Mark Tenorti. But we did lose the game. So we're down two games to nothing to St. Louis. Hope to see you for game three in Minnesota. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.